Hi, my name is Pop. I am making a video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics showing how to print envelopes in LibreOffice Writer. Writer is the name of the word processor in LibreOffice. It's very much like Microsoft Word. When I first tried printing envelopes, I had trouble doing so, and that's why I am making this tutorial. Obviously, you've got to open up Writer. That's the first thing you're going to do. And then you select Insert envelope. There are three tabs that pop up in a window and you have to do all three of them. You're going to do the addressee and sender, format and size, and this is the one that threw me. You've got to pick printer. And Then afterwards when you are done all together you've got two options. You can either insert the envelope into the document you are writing such that when you save the document you it will only have one name and when it is saved it is the letter and the envelope under one name. If you select new document you will be saving the envelope as a file name by itself and the letter as a name by itself. I am now going to open up Writer and I will show you how it works. Applications, Office, Writer. This is a brand new blank file. It is not a letter. To demonstrate it, let me just write the word letter. Control A, copy, go over a couple of lines, paste, 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 paste. This is going to be my letter, okay? Now, if I look at the file in page preview, all we got is a letter. Close preview. I want to make an envelope. So I pick insert and I go down to envelope. And here are the three tabs I was telling you about. You can do them in any order, but I'm just going to go left to right. I'm going to open this up. The addressee is the that's the guy you're sending the letter to. And the sender, that's in the top left corner, that's you. And if you want to, you don't even have to put it on the envelope, it vanishes. You can edit this. You can change all of the text around, of course. You can add from a database. When you go to format, you can change the position around. Let me do that a little bit on the addressee. Watch the picture down there. And center. Furthermore, you can change the font. I'm going to use a very large font and then down here furthermore you can pick what size envelope. In the United States of America a very common size is a number 10 but this is an international company, LibreOffice and Ubuntu, and they've got envelope sizes here I've never heard of. Somewhere they are standard. I think I've heard of A3, 4, and 5 and such. I do believe those are used in Europe to a great extent. In the United States, for some reason, we've got this one called number 10, and you can also do user define, in which case you make your own. The last thing, this is what threw me, is printer. Most printers have got a tray in which you can put oh, 100 sheets or so of blank paper. And that's how you normally print, but we're going to be doing an envelope and quite often a printer will also have a slot for inserting one envelope or one sheet of paper. 
and this is the slot that we're talking about here and let me enlarge this and I'm going to enlarge it even more let's do that you can print these things from the top or the bottom and if you print them from the bottom you see how they reverse you're going to have to find your own printer when you put in that single envelope into the slot is it going to be like this or like this or like this or like this or like this mine happens to be like this I put in the envelope face up and I insert the right hand edge in the center and that's the way my printer works I'm using a brother printer and yours may be different you're just going to have to find that out with either the printer manual or trial and error now you've got the last thing are you going to insert this as a new document in which case when you save the file the envelope will be a name by itself as a separate file or will you insert the envelope into this letter in which case when you save the letter you're also saving the envelope let's do that and I want to go to file page preview and that's going to show both the letter on the right and the envelope now it looks funny because it's not elongated enough but that's an illusion and I'm going to demonstrate that let me go format page border and I'm just gonna put a line around everything now you see this line here when I go to file page preview now now you can see that this looks more like an envelope and when I save the file I'm just gonna save it as now that now save control s saves it into the normal location but you could save it on the desktop save as and I'll go desktop and I'll call it letter letter one let's do that and when I close this I've got letter one and there it is let's do something different and save this and insert an envelope as a new document and when I go file save as I'll call this envelope now I've got everything closed I've got letter one what happened to envelope ah here it is page preview this is envelope only you see and this one this is the envelope and the letter so you can do it either way
Well, my name is Pop, and I thank you very, very much. I hope you enjoyed this, and I would like to hear from people. Thank you very, very much.